MAT 119 Data Science Analytics One topic that will be covered in the course is Cluster Analysis. Let's take a look at this data set, Presidential Elections Data. Jump is the software package that we will be using throughout the course. I'm going to show you today an example of why this is such a spectacular software package. Here you have every state in alphabetical order, all 50 states represented. You can see here there are 50 rows in this data set. These columns, 1980 through 2012, nine presidential elections. The columns to the right also represent the nine presidential elections and the party of the winner in that state. But I'm going to focus on these numbers right here. In 1980, in Alabama, 48.7% of the vote was Democratic. And so all of these numbers represent percent Democrat vote. So one thing that could be done is take the average of these nine percentages so that for each state you have a mean or average. And then I can rank order from high to low or low to high the means. That would be a meaningful thing to do. However, what about possible changes from election to election? Well, I've already showed you that there are changes for sure. Which states have similar results across the nine elections is what I want to determine. So let's see what we can do. First, I'm going to produce what's known as a parallel plot. And I'm going to highlight the nine presidential election years click Y response, they're all here, click OK. This parallel plot along the horizontal axis shows the nine years. The vertical axis you have low percent Democrat all the way up to high percent Democrat and each line represents a particular state like this is Georgia. Next thing I want to do through Graph Builder is create a map of the United States. So I click State, Map Shape, I click on Done, and now I'm going to resize this so that it's similar in size to the parallel plot. All 50 states are represented, Alaska, Hawaii, and the contiguous states here. Now we'll call up our procedure. Analyze multivariate methods cluster. I'm going to once again highlight the nine presidential election years. Click on Y columns and I'm going to label by state. Label state. Click OK. I have what's known as a dendrogram. This is showing which states are similar in results. Now it's hard to really see patterns here. So let's do the following. Color the clusters. Note all three graphs have similar colors. And the data set itself along the left has the colors represented as well. This is known as dynamic linking. And so Jump is a package that has dynamic linking between the data set and all graphics. And it represents the capability that no other package has and this is why it's so good for this course. I can click on a particular line here that's Hawaii. Let's pick another one. Here is another state. If I click down here that's New Jersey and New Jersey is highlighted. You can see it a little bit there. Let's pick on one that's highlighted a little better. Now I'm highlighting Texas. Here is Texas. Here is Texas. And if I go to the data set, there's Texas highlighted as well. I could click on a state this way. Click on Florida, for example. And so now you see Florida is highlighted here, here, and here. Okay, now let's take a look at the clusters. The first is the red cluster. Here represents from election to election what happened in these states. You can see the similarities. Now, it's not perfect. I can increase the number of clusters to take these two states 
and put them in a different cluster. But let's go through what the computer suggested as a good number of clusters. You can vary them by either increasing or decreasing the number of clusters. And how to do that would be to drag this diamond to the left to increase the number of clusters or to the right to decrease them. This is known as a scree plot. But the six clusters that it picked out, I think, are pretty good. But look at where the states are for the red clusters. Look at this right over here. Very interesting how they're all together. Pretty high Democratic vote in 1980, down in 84, further down in 88, way up in 92 in this particular state, but a, an increase in the percent Democratic vote, and then you can see down in 96, etc. Let's look at the green cluster. Here you have the election to election changes for these states. They're highlighted here. Arizona, Nevada, New Hampshire, Colorado, Ohio, Florida, and Virginia. If I went to the data set, see how these rows are highlighted, the same states? I could actually do tables, subset, click OK, and now I have a data set with just these seven green states. And if I wanted to do further analysis on just these states, I have a data set with just these states isolated. But we won't do that. I did want to show you this capability also in Jump. Back to the graphs. So that represents the green states. Let's take a look at the blue states. Very low Democratic representation along these nine elections. Where are these states? Here they are, and down here, and here's another state as well. The gold states, this cluster, very low in Democrat percent across these nine elections, Alaska and these states here, Nebraska, Idaho, Wyoming, and Utah. Let's take a look at this cyan colored cluster. Pretty high as you look at percent Democratic vote across these nine elections and the similarity in these states. West Coast represented and other states as well, across even into the Northeast. A big cluster. And finally, the purple cluster, the highest overall percent Democrat if you if you go from election to election. There's one particular state that's higher in 1984, but you can see as a group they're the highest. And here they are represented, New York being one of them. Now I can also separate these clusters by doing parallel coordinate plot. And now you can see the six clusters being represented. And you can see the similarities as you go across these elections. These are the six clusters. See how they're broken out. And I could even highlight, for example, the states like this and go in. And once again, here they are highlighted, here they are highlighted, here they are highlighted. Again, the dynamic linking of all of the graphs. And by doing this, one more thing I'll show you. If you go back to the data set, all the way to the right, you have a column that was just created with a cluster number. This column can be used for further analysis in conjunction with one or more of these columns. This is an example of cluster analysis. I hope you've enjoyed it.